Welcome back. We have the hometown hero here. She's fresh off winning an NCAA national championship. Pitcher for the Oklahoma Sooners, Paige Parker. Thanks for being here today. About a week ago, you pitched a complete game of Game 3 of the championship series. It's a moment every young softball player dreams of. How would you describe the adrenaline throughout that game for you? You know, adrenaline was pretty high um, during that game, and, you know, it was just um, managing the adrenaline, too, as well was important. And, you know, just really focusing on the moment, staying focused, and um, just going out there and fighting. You pitched in game one and then game three. Before the game, you said you were at about 75%. How did you get through that? Um, you know, just making sure I got treatment after game one and um, having an ice bath and all of that and getting the rest um, on Tuesday was really great and important and then um, getting ready for game three I was a, about 75 percent like you said and um, adrenaline kind of took over and I was probably around like 90 percent for the game so. So what was it like to have the ball in your hand right before the final out to win the national championship? Um, it was an amazing feeling you know the it was a really tough at bat, and our de um, defense made a great play. CC made a great play at second base, and then um, it was just an incredible feeling after that last pitch was thrown. And then game two was a crazy one. What was your team's mentality after losing to Auburn in a comeback game like that? You know, it was just we were ready for game three, and um, it was just coming out and being really tough and playing like we had all year. As a sophomore, you were described as the engine of your team. Only two years of playing. you got two more to go. How does the future of OU softball look like? Um, we're really excited about it. And, um, you know, we were really young this year. And we have a lot of people coming back next year. So we're excited for the future. And how was that dog pie on the mound? Um, it was incredible. <laughs> um, you know, I Leah came out, my catcher came out and hugged. We had a big hug, and then we kind of all fell on the mound, and I was at the bottom of it, and it was just an incredible feeling and so much fun to be able to share that moment with my teammates. After that celebration, how did you continue to celebrate in OKC? Um, we, we went um, to Toby Keith's restaurant that night, and um, we were able to celebrate, and he was there, and it was a an incredible celebration and we had a lot of fun and then um, we came back to Norman after that and on Friday night we had a big fan fest with all of our fans there and um, you know we revealed our new outfield wall and um, you know we got our uniforms from the game so that was something that was really special too to be able to share that with our fans. Now that you're back in Kansas City, what has it been like, life been like to be now national champion? Um, it's been a lot of fun, um, you know, just kind of laying low, hanging out at home has been really nice and, um, you know, getting to see some friends and things like that and getting to spend time with my family has been awesome. You're a former Originals Gold player. Now, are you going to come back and coach them while you're here in the summer? Um, I don't think so. Um, I'm going to see a lot of my former teammates from that team, though, because we're all still really close. But um, I think I'm just going to kind of lay low during the summer and um, just spend time with my family. How do you believe your Kansas City roots uh, growing up here, learning softball mm -hmm. here, has contributed to where you are now? Um, I think there's a. it's really big. Um, with my Kansas City roots. I played here forever and played in a lot of tournaments and um, I learned a lot of great lessons from playing on the original so it's just given me a lot of life lessons and um, really made a big impact on my life being able to play in Kansas City my whole life. Paige, thank you for being here and good luck in your next few seasons. We'll be right back.